Hello everybody and welcome back! I am really glad to see you all in today's video in which, as you've probably guessed from the title, we are gonna talk about a most beast modi leather perfume that is called Club Design and it is from the independent project The Zoo of one of the most well-respected perfumers of our time, Christophe Lademier. By the way, I'm sorry for my French pronunciation as always, guys. Christophe Lademier has now his independent perfume project and he also creates fragrances for other brands like Tom Ford, Tommy Hilfiger and many others. And a very special part of this perfume is actually that it won Art and Olfaction Award this year and I attended the ceremony, I filmed everything, so if you want to see that blog and Christoph on stage receiving an award and talking about his house. Check out that video, I will leave a link in my description box and also on the screen for you guys. And he not only won an award for this perfume, but also he was awarded by Art Nail Faction for the scent contribution to the fragrance industry. And that is so cool, like one person won two awards, even though from the same company, but still pretty cool and impressive. And I came across this fragrance only because of Art Nail Faction Awards. And as I was at the ceremony, I had a chance to smell all of the finalists and club design was most outstanding one hands down just because it was so strong. And I need to tell you that leather in here is the most dominant note. It is such an intense, confident note of leather and it has very animalic scent that makes me fall in love with it. It gives me knee shaking moment, butterflies in my stomach. It's like such a cool, intriguing leather note. I believe there is interesting Spanish leather combined with the natural leather smell of mimosa extract, so it has quite a complex leathery side and there is some sensuality of musk that is far away in the background just because leather is quite overwhelming. And I also smell some smokiness, which I enjoy so much just because it is not incensey church smokiness, just some different type of smokiness that is very intriguing and pleasant. And then there is also the note of white lilies, which I don't smell at all. I love lilies. Unfortunately, I don't smell them here. You can kill me, but I don't smell them. And there is the note of Styrax, which I enjoy very much just because it provides dirty, powdery, sexy moment. And I can smell it here. There is a lot of sandalwood, which makes it more round, but this perfume is definitely more on the sharp, leathery, cold side. And even though I first thought it is unisex, now I would say that it is on the masculine side. It is quite challenging to wear it for me, but I love when my boyfriend wears it, especially when we are going out in the evening. It projects like crazy. As I first sprayed it. I made two spritzes and that was too much. It was so intense, you guys. You cannot even imagine. So it is just a great performer. It is very strong, appealing, very different leather. It is not your type of soft leather, suede. No, 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 no. This is animalic, really brand new leather. Like, wow, it is like wild. And it is definitely a scent for a very confident man just because it is so strong. It is not for softies. No, it is for man who knows what he wants and he wants things to be done his way really fast and he has just a very dominant character. This is how I would describe this perfume. And a very particular part about it is actually that Christoph used higher amount of sophronal and cumarin than Ifra suggests. So this perfume is designed to wear it on your clothes just because it is not dangerous but not really like suggested to wear it on your skin, but you can do on your own risk. I do sometimes, my boyfriend too. So it is a sexy, atmospheric leather perfume, very different leather, love it so much, different from any other leather that I know. And then I also want to mention two other perfumes from the Zoo collection. One of them is called Fig My Love, and I really enjoy this name. As you know or don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of fig as a note, but in here it is interesting, it is very playful, green, 
pure smelling perfume reminds me of milky cocktail but there are some green leaves that are smashed into this milky texture it is interesting very pleasant attractive truly unisex perfume perfect for hotter weather just because it's fresh and it makes you it makes you feel like you're going through the garden or a for not a forest like jungle like like some some interesting livy place and then i have this perfume that is called louise and i can't really tell you that i love it just because it is more on the masculine side once again it has this masculine touch but I would say it is unisex. It has a bit of everything. Delicious spices, which I love. It has some gourmand twist to it. And it also has like clear, very, not clean, but clear, sheer muskiness. So it is sexy at the same time. It is delicious at the same time. It is fresh and spicy. It is just a very universal perfume that is perfect for formal occasions just because it is on the neutral side of things and it has this creative moment to it. So what I've noticed the most about the Zoo collection is all perfumes are so long-lasting, they are great performers and uh, for this pricing and creativity you literally get what you're paying for because these perfumes last so long they are very interesting and yes they are appealing not because they smell commercial like something we are used to not just because they are very interesting and people get excited so i highly recommend you to check out their official website link is below just because their concept is so unique go there check out all the perfumes i want to explore their line even further for sure and uh, that is all i wanted to tell you if you have any experience with the zoo collection leave me a comment and if not just comment below what excited you about my review i really want to hear from you guys and i hope you will get in contact with me in the comments just because YouTube is very hard like you need to get a lot of engagement just for people to be notified about your videos and it's very hard I put so much effort into finding this unusual cool brands and share with you my opinion on them and it's such a pity when you're not informed that I uploaded a video so just leave me a comment um, just what excited you about this review or anything else what is your favorite leathery perfume do you enjoy this note is not one of my absolute favorites but sometimes when it's done right like with the club design I like it and uh, I'm looking forward to hear from you. If you enjoyed watching this video and you want more interesting content from me, subscribe to my channel. Also, click that notification bell. That will really help us both. And feel free to share this video with your friends. And that was all. Stay tuned, smell good, and we'll see each other next one really soon. Bye, guys.